gotten a lot of questions on what products I use to clean my Model 3 and what my recommendations are for things like a spare tire. Basically, how I care for my car. So I thought it would be good to compile a few ideas and suggestions into one video. You might be asking yourself, is he really gonna tell us how to wash a car? <laughs> sort of. And before you jump into the comments and tell me I'm doing it wrong or using the wrong product, I'm not presenting this as the definitive way to clean your car. But these are products I hadn't used until a year or two ago, and I wish I had known about them earlier because they've come in very handy. Living in the Northeast of the United States, I have to deal with cold, miserable, dirty winters. And for a lot of people, you can only wash your car when the temperature warms up enough to not instantly freeze, which means there may be long stretches in the winter that you have to go with a pretty dirty car. Either that or pay a lot of money to a detailer to do it for you. I have a very tiny house with an even tinier garage that doesn't have drainage in the floor or a lot of room to maneuver around the car. Well, Ben Sullen's Teslanomics channel had a video covering his experience having elite finished detailing in San Diego ceramic coat his car. And they have an interesting product that they call Wash Mist that requires next to no water and actually gets your car pretty clean. Best part is that all you need is a spray bottle and some microfiber cloths and you're good to go. You need to clean your car one section at a time. Now to start, you fold your microfiber cloth into quarters, spray a light coating on the small section you're gonna start working with and let it sit for a few seconds. Then without applying any real pressure to the cloth, just drag it along the surface. This will lift the majority of the dirt and debris off the surface without scratching the car. And yes, I've done this with my previous car and my Model 3 quite a few times and haven't had any scratches. If the surface looks clear, then you can do an even lighter spritz, barely anything. Refold the cloth to get a clean quarter and then wipe along the surface again. This time though, you can apply some light pressure. This is essentially the final buffing of the section. And you repeat this process section by section, ending with the wheels. I was pretty surprised how well this got my car clean. It doesn't require any rinsing and you're talking about less than a liter of water for a complete car wash. It also acts as a sealant, so the final surface is very smooth, glossy, and helps to repel water and dirt for a few weeks until it wears off. I'm able to wash my entire car in about 15 minutes in my tiny garage in the middle of winter. For those times where the weather is nicer, I'll pull out the big guns and use the bucket method with something like Optimum No Rinse Wash and Shine. This uses more water, but allows you to use more intensive cleaning methods like brushes to help get into the nooks and crannies and get things really clean, especially underneath the car. Both work really well and use far less water than automatic car washes or do-it-yourself car wash bays, and they also save you money too. 16 ounces of wash mist costs $25 and it takes one ounce mixed with 15 ounces of water per spray bottle. I've been able to wash my car with roughly one and a half spray bottles, which means it costs me about $2.50 for each wash. Elite Finish sells kits that include spray bottles, microfiber cloths, and the mix too. So depending on what you need, they've got you covered. They aren't the only company with a product like this, so shop around, but I wanted to show you how well this style of cleaning works because it's a great way to clean your car in a more ecologically friendly way. And a side note, Wash Mist does a great job cleaning the inside and outside of the windows too. It's also great for spot cleaning those random bird bombs you may encounter from time to time. I'm, I'm ashamed to admit it, but in the past I've suffered from curb rash. And don't deny it, I know you have too. We all at some point have gotten just a little too close to the curb when parking or pulling up to a drive through You can cover it up with a little elbow grease and paint, but it may not cover it up completely. Well, there's a product that can help with those low speed brush ups against the curb. EV Annex was kind enough to send me this wheel bands kit for the Tesla Model 3 to check out. Installing the kit takes just a little bit of time. It took me about seven to eight minutes per wheel to get everything applied. To start out, you should clean your wheels to get as much of the dirt and grime off the rims, then use the provided alcohol wipes to remove the last remaining contaminants. The kit comes in a variety of colors. There's a track that you lay down first, followed by a colored tubing that's inset into the track. You can mix and match the colors, but I chose black track with a black insert because I thought it would match and look the best with the uncovered aero wheel rims. The track and the tubing comes in a very long coil that can be a little unwieldy to deal with, so I'd recommend cutting into rough length before applying it. Start by removing a few inches of the adhesive backing paper and then just press it into place along the edge of the rim. Try your best to keep a consistent placement along the entire wheel as you go. They even provide a tool that can help you do this. At the end, just cut to make a precise fit and you can move on to the tubing insert. Same deal with this part of the process. Rough cut the tube to length and then snap it into place within the track. You should offset the tubing cut to the opposite side of the track cut 
which helps with the final appearance of the structure. Wash, rinse, and repeat for each wheel, and you're done. I'm actually pretty surprised how well these look in person. With the all black on the air wheel rims, they blend in. My wife didn't even see them until I actually pointed them out to her. If you want to add a little pop, you can choose a red insert or a silver. They have several options for colors that you can choose from. These should do a decent job of protecting you from those slow motion curb crashes. All you have to do is remove the damaged protector and reapply a new one. Or if you already have a minor scrape, these can actually help mask them. And sticking with the tires, we need to address the elephant in the room. The Model 3 doesn't include a spare tire in the trunk. So if you get a flat, your only option is to call roadside assistance. Well, thankfully, there are products on the market that help give you a temporary patch on your tire, which can help you drive the car to a repair shop yourself and avoid waiting for a tow truck at all. The trickiest part of selecting a tire repair kit is to make sure it's approved for use on tires that have tire pressure sensors. Tesla sells their own tire repair kit that works with all of their cars. It contains a built-in tire pump that can be used to top off your tire pressure anytime by using the bottom black hose, as well as a sealant canister to patch punctures. To repair a puncture, all you have to do is attach the top clear hose to the tire and plug the tire pump into the car's 12-volt outlet. There's a built-in sensor in the compressor that will check to make sure there's a secure seal before dispensing the sealant. It's a nice add-on compared to some of the other kits I've seen, which can be messy. The kit is rated to give you a maximum of 186 miles or 300 kilometers on a repaired tire, which should be more than enough to get your car somewhere for a permanent fix or a replacement. The one downside that I see to this kit is the price. It's $80, which is a little more on the expensive side of things, but you are getting an automatic tire pump as part of the kit. And a decent automatic tire pump might cost you around $50, and you could go with another sealant like Fix-A-Flat for about $10. But for me, I thought the Tesla kit was worth a few extra bucks to keep it tucked away in my trunk for emergencies. And somewhat related to this is if you need to jack your car up. Let's say you bought a spare tire for your Tesla or you want to change tires yourself at home. Be aware that there are four specific jack points under the car. If you don't use the proper placement, you can damage the battery, which is obviously something that none of us wanna do. You'll notice that those jack points have recessed holes, which are meant for the use of jack pads that protect the car from damage and scratches, as well as securing the car to the jack itself. You can buy your own jack pads from someone like Reverse Logic, which are a good quality jack pad. I bought myself a set and I leave them in the trunk just in case I need to go to a non-Tesla service center for any reason. I can give them these jack pads to use just in case. And they'll come in handy for myself because I'm planning on changing my own tires down the road. So hopefully this answers a few questions I know that some of you have had, and as always, don't look at these items as the definitive solution that's right for everyone. This is what I found to work really well for myself, and when it comes to things like wash mist, I wish I had known about that product a lot sooner. It's been a great way for me to be more ecologically conscious and be more responsible with my water usage. And a special thank you to EV Annex for sending me the Rim Pro Tech wheel bands. Links to everything are in the description below. And if you liked the video, be sure to give a thumbs up and comment down below what products you use to take care of your car. I'm sure there's some great recommendations. If you'd like to support the channel and are looking for some great Tesla accessories, you can get 15% off your first order with Abstract Ocean, which can save you a lot of money on their console wraps, bright LED lights, screen protectors, and much more. And if you're looking to buy a Tesla, you can get six months of free supercharging by using my referral code. The same code also works if you're looking at Tesla Solar, which will give you an extended warranty. For international folks, you can take advantage of the referral program, but evidently the URL method doesn't work. You'll need to email Tesla the referral code. I'll include instructions in the description. And a very special thank you to all the people who have purchased a Tesla with my referral code. I love hearing what you ended up buying, how delivery went, and what you think of the car. Don't hesitate to shoot me a message on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or my website. I'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell to get alerts when I post new videos. And as always, Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.